So we're here today in the American Mountaineering Center. It's a really unique uh, facility here in the United States, actually. It's home to not only the Colorado Mountain Club, but also the American Alpine Club, and a lot of peer organizations as well that are really focused on trails and outdoor conservation. So it's a, it's a great uh, venue uh, for all things uh, mountains, if you will. Uh, and we're right here in the heart of Golden, which is fantastic. What's really fantastic about this building as well is that we are home to the uh, American uh, Alpine Library and also the American uh, Mountaineering Museum, which again are really world-class um, uh, facilities housed here right in Golden. So it's great to be working in such an environment where there's so much going on related to Colorado, the mountains, and, and just uh, conservation in, in general. It's just a fantastic place to work. Well, we are a membership-based organization. Right now, we've got about 5,000 members in, in Colorado. So the first step is becoming a member of the Colorado Mountain Club. As you become a member, you're uh, able to go on thousands of free hikes uh, through the Colorado Mountain Club, led by our volunteer uh, trip, trip guides and trip leaders. Um, and you're also able to then sign up for uh, our technical classes that are held primarily here in, in the Golden and Denver region, but also held around the state. We offer such a broad range of, of classes and everything ranging from photography to fly fishing. The absolute basics of snow eschewing through Rocky Mountain National Park all the way up to ice climbing and high altitude mountaineering. But probably the, the two core classes for the Colorado Mountain Club are our wilderness trekking school, which are you know, providing Coloradans the basics of how to travel safely into the mountains. And then we have our backcountry uh, mountaineering school, which uh, we call BMS. And that really provides Coloradans with higher technical skills to get in the backcountry. Teaching them how to be safe, but also just getting them excited, uh, meeting people, um, socializing with people of, of uh, similar interests. And, uh, and that, that happens all the way from uh, elementary school up to our members that have been uh, with us for 40 and 50 years. I moved here in 1993. I had a good friend who was a member of the club and she knew I was an outdoors person. She said, John, you need to come join the mountain club. And I did. And it was wonderful because what happens is you just pick a trip and show up. You show up and the leader takes all the responsibility. But it's been fun for me. I've taken just about every school that the uh, club offers. But I love it. I mean, it's just a great way great to meet new friends. Uh, you go out, you have a trip, and there are doctors, lawyers, teachers, scientists. It's a great um, state to do it. We have some places that we like, favorite places to go uh, Current Creek and Second Creek, uh, we like St. Mary's Glacier. You know, if anybody has snow, if there's snow anywhere, there's going to be snow in those two places. But uh, it's a great uh, experience. Um, I've enjoyed it, it keeps me healthy. And it keeps my skills sharp because when you teach it, you have to know what you're talking about. Know what you're doing. So, you, are you ready to go? Absolutely. <laughs> we have a conservation focus that has, has been a common thread ever since 1912, where when our founders really came together to um, help protect Rocky Mountain National Park as a national park for the first time. So, we continue that conservation thread in a lot of work that we do around the state. Uh, we have a uh, an arm of our organization that is focused on youth education as well. And so you might have seen downstairs here in the American Mountaineering Center uh, the climbing wall. And we bring thousands of kids into this building and we go out to uh, kids around the state as well. Again, to teach them about uh, the mountains, science, and just uh, getting outdoors and, and active. So we do a lot of different forms of outreach. We go to schools and we like run gym classes or we go to assemblies and kind of give people a taste of like what we do and who we are. We also do like individual outreach or like teachers will refer people to us and be like, hey, I think this would be a good program for you. So we get a lot of people that really enjoy being active more. And so the idea of sitting in class all day doesn't even fit their minds. So you just climbed that entire huge wall. Yeah. How was it? It was pretty fun. It looked really scary in there. It was, but it, it, when you came down to it, you started to think about where to like, place your feet in your hands and you got up. Yeah. Would you do it again? Yeah. Was this your first time climbing the wall? Well, it's kind of my first time doing it indoor, though. I'd be a little nervous, were you? 
Well, a little kind of, though. Because my sometimes my hands get sweaty and all that. I say the hardest part was when I was like, like almost halfway got stuck because I couldn't really grab anything because I was trying to reach, but I couldn't grab, so I had to go. I went back down. And like, um, th um, the person that was belaying me was giving some, made some tips to like, what to grab and everything. Did you have fun today? Yes. Yeah? You did a really good job up there. I would have been really scared. <laughs> Thank you. We also have some other arms that are pretty exciting in what we do, uh, including adventure travel, where uh, this year alone we'll be running trips around the world to uh, the base of Mount Everest, Aconcagua down in South America, Kilimanjaro, but also domestic trips out to the uh, Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, and, and a lot of great trips. Uh, again, with a mountain focus, um, that's really what we do best. Without a doubt, a year-round organization. Certainly the, the number of trips that we offer peak in the summer months, but we offer both classes and trips uh, all throughout the winter that range from uh, winter camping uh, to hut-to-hut -hut trips uh, and telemark and backcountry ski trips. So it's really uh, um, diverse in what we're able to offer throughout the year. You know, we work with a lot of businesses right here in Golden. Uh, there are several businesses that are actually uh, corporate sponsors of ours, and we support several uh, events here in the local parks and just great community events. But probably my, my favorite is what we call Thirsty Thursdays, and we host that right here in the American Mountaineering Center. Once a month on Thursdays, we invite the whole community in for free, and they get to walk around the American Mountaineering Museum, and we open the whole building up. We've, we've got a little bit of food and drink uh, free to the public, and it just uh, opens up this great resource to those that might not usually step into the uh, American Mountaineering Center. Uh, it's, it, it serves as a fundraiser for the museum each month. So Thirsty Thursdays would be my bet for the best thing to do here in Golden at least once a month.